Hey, welcome to Trucking Live. Today we're about to fuel a big rig truck at a Love Truck Stop. So, first thing you want to do is you want to get out. Get out of the truck. You'll put in all your fuel information right here. You'll put in your truck number. You'll put in your mileage. You'll put in your Love's card. You'll do that. I've already did all that. So, we're going to go ahead now. We're going to fill this baby on up. Yeah. Yeah. Little video right there. Nice. Anyway, we'll fill this bad boy on up. You'll have two fuel tanks, one on both sides. So after you do this one here, you go to the other side. So we'll get this one going here first. Then we will go over here. To this side. Most trucks are going to have two different ones. You'll have two tanks on each side. You'll fill those on up. While that's going on, what you want to do then is you want to go ahead and get your, you have a brush right here at the front of the truck so you can clean your windows. They usually have one at, at each truck stop. Right. So you want to get all this bug stuff off. So while you're fueling, you want to make sure that you get all you know, the windows clean. Yeah, that's good. Or on the other side, I'll be right back. Now you want to take this opportunity now to any trash that you have in your truck. If you have any trash in there, you want to go ahead and get it on out. Throw it away. Try to keep your truck clean. You know, cleanliness is next to godliness. So you want to keep the truck clean. Uh, while this is filling up, you got your windows clean, you get your trash out, and it's pretty much way. After I fill up the diesel, then I've got to do the death fuel. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second once this fills on up. They usually fill up pretty quick here. I said this truck holds about 200 gallons. Ever ever takes a little different. This is an international, so like I said, it holds about 200 gallons. We put, it was close to low, so we get about 100 gallons on each side. All right, now that clicked off. So it didn't take too long to fill up. You want to make sure that your your cap. I spent a little fuel. You don't want to do that, but you want to make sure your cap is on secure and on tight. Now, if it's taking a little longer to fuel, this is when you can do a little exercise. You can run around the truck, check your tires, and all that good jazz. All right. This time, I'm trying not to spill no fuel. All right. So now, then what you want to do now? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on here tight. Make sure you got it on good, or it'll start splashing out. Then what you want to do is you want to go to your death. Your death's gonna be on this side. You'll have to hit the death button. You'll pull it out. A lot of times it has a little hose. You have to pull that hose out like this. And death goes over here. Hold on one second. I'm gonna set this down for a minute. Now, your death is your diesel exhaust fluid. That's what uh, helps with the emissions. It helps burn the uh, exhaust out the fuel. So. That's pretty much how you fuel a truck. Pretty simple. Uh, you, like I said, you get out normally. When you get out, you'll come over here. You put your fuel card in right here. You'll put your uh, loves card in. It, it simply asks you questions. It'll ask you for your truck number. It'll ask you for your uh, driver ID and ask you for your mileage. Then you can put in there if you want a receipt or not. You go inside. You grab your receipt and go from there. Now, once I fill up this diesel exhaust fuel, which mine was almost full anyway, so it shouldn't take much. On the diesel, okay. diesel exhaust fuel, I don't have to fill it up every day. That's something I fill up about twice a week. You know, I may, if I'm doing long days, I may fill up every day and a half. But if you're on this diesel exhaust fuel, it doesn't go as fast as the actual diesel. So, all right, now that's topped off now. Make sure that your cap is on tight. A 
problem there. There we go. Good to get it on tight. Now, then what you will do, you climb back in your truck. You always want to make sure that you pull forward because the next person is going to need to get fuel that's waiting behind you. You don't want to go inside and, and leave them. Drug drivers hate that. I cannot stand that. Also, you want to make sure that you logged on duty on your Samsara. Uh, you want to make sure that you logged on duty for fueling uh, on your electronic logs. Once you get back up here, then you can go back down to off duty. Go inside, get your seat, use the restroom, make it quick. If you're going to be longer than I'd say five, 10 minutes, then you want to go ahead and get a parking place just so the next guy can do his thing. This is going to take him about that long to fuel. Again, I appreciate you joining my channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Trucking Life with Sean.